isotroid retinoid or a vitamin A precursor to put it very simply. It also dries your tear gland, it dries the mucus surface elsewhere. Simply shut it off. That's it. No matter what is stimulated, this won't happen. So isotroin is a oral retinoid or a vitamin A precursor to put it very simply. What it does is when you ingest it, it dries you up basically. So it dries all the glands up, not just the oil gland on the face. It also dries your tear gland, it dries the mucus surface elsewhere. Therefore, you may have conditions such as dry eye, extremely dry lips, dry vagina. So it can just dry every part of your body. How does it work on acne? Firstly, you need to understand why acne happens, right? Now, whatever is the stimulus, whether it is pollution, whether it is hormone, whether it is your dandruff, whether it is your bad food, what is it all doing? It is stimulating your gland, which is the oil gland, right? Imagine if I, if I make this oil gland not function at all, no secretion of oil at all, then what happens? There is no acne, these guys can keep bombarding, acne doesn't happen, right? So if there is oil, then the oil can stay back, it can get plugged the pore, it can be whitehead, blackhead, inflammation, infection, acne, cyst, all that can happen. If there is no oil only in this gland, what will happen? Nothing will happen. That is how isotroin works. It is like crows into fever. Simply shut it off. That's it. No matter what is stimulating, this won't happen. So that's how isotroin works. There is no... Um, equivalent alternative to isotroin but you can dry your oil glands through other methods from the outside such as peel such as application tretinoids various ones like your retinol like your tretinoin so all of these the newer retinoids are also there all this can dry it from the outside it can be totally replaced by maybe benzoyl peroxide which is a different molecule but can also dry from outside salicylic acid which can also dry from outside so it could be that or at your doctor's office micro needling radio frequency where the needles enter into the skin release radio frequency and some of these needles also enter the oil gland and that also causes shrinkage of the oil gland itself. This one is a more permanent method or the long term method while isotroin only reduces the oil in the gland as long as you're taking isotroin. If you complete the dose recommended of isotroin take it for long enough, then the drying that it has caused or the oil gland um, reduced function that it has caused will last you for a very long time. So with isotroin, what happens is very importantly on the skin, skin can get super dry. It can get flaky, red. Sometimes you end up getting cuts on the lip and bleeding on the lip because it can extremely dry you. That's number one. It can cause as dry, brittle and breakage of your hair. It can even cause hair fall. It can make your skin photosensitive and can cause a little darkness when sun exposed. It can also cause dryness of your mucous membrane, such as your lips, your vagina, your salivary glands. So that can be one of the things that it can cause. Now, in the long term, it gets excreted through the liver. So you can have certain lipid metabolism dysfunction your triglycerides might go up, that the doctor will monitor closely. The other things that can happen is disturbances to the mood. There are a few papers which also say that if you have a tendency of depression, um, of harming yourself, then you need to ask your doctor before you really take, these, take isotroin. Now, the other thing you also need to know is that it is highly contraindicated for pregnancy. So you cannot take it if you're planning pregnancy. If you're married, if you're sexually active, if you accidentally get pregnant and you want to keep that going, then please don't take isotroin without contraception. So make sure you're doing that. And if you're planning pregnancy, definitely don't take isotroin. There are many other methods to work, uh, like I said earlier, on the oil glands, which are safe for pregnancy. Now, you could stop just before pregnancy, but there are enough studies to show that it may stay in your body because it also binds to the fats for at least three months. So it's important for you to 
stop your isotroin three months before you plan or get pregnant. Now, the skin cracks are the ones which are very annoying. So that is the side effect that you should be worried about, which is just then, like immediate while you're taking the isotroin. There could be dysfunction in your periods, dysregulation in your periods also while you're taking isotroin. Yes, that can happen. So you don't necessarily prep your body. One best thing is to take it at night to prevent the side effects, like I said. Two, start using a lip balm before it starts to crack. Make sure there's a lot of moisturizer, which is the right moisturizer, which is not comedogenic. So it gives you the hydration, but not excessive oil is something that you can start off with a good skin care while you're doing isotroin. If you're doing isotroin from the inside, but benzoyl peroxide, salicylic acid, tretinoin, everything from the outside, maybe you can talk to your doctor and cut off some of these, whether it is as serums, moisturizers or face washes, maybe you don't need everything that dries you. You balance them out with some with this and some with this to get a more balanced skin. Two, supplements such as Primrose Plus, Hydrate, might really, really help you. Defense might all help you in keeping the hydration intact, the, the essential oils for the skin intact, and also to reduce the inflammation during this period. So this can be something supportive to you while you're on the isotroin treatment. So while you're on isotroin, it was old data or old information to say, oh, no other treatments can be done. But right now, Atra, we do all the treatments for an acne patient, whether it is peels, whether it is simply comedone extractions, or it is subsession, or it is lasers, or it is microneedling radiofrequency. We do all of that depending on what type of scar is there or what grade of acne, what is the infection or inflammation, and what we are looking at as an outcome, and what is bothering you about your acne most, or what is bothering you about your post-acne, uh, texture or color change most, we do all of this and isotroin can just be going in hand in hand. The dosage, however, is what matters a lot. Earlier, they used to give this large dosage. One more thing I forgot to tell you in the side effect that can happen is there could be an initial burst of acne that can happen with isotroin, which is reduced a lot with smaller dose of isotroin now to start with, and then you can build up the dose. However, I like to keep the dose of isotroin very minimal, just enough to reduce the oil gland production. And I can then give other things, like I said, on the surface, maybe a benzoyl peroxide, maybe a treatment, which is from the top, maybe more long-term, while I'm still trying to control with a little bit of isotroin from inside. So these are all various tools and various science uh, gadgets that we have or molecules that we have. You play with all of them to get the right balance of the skin. So that's where comes in how you choose your doctor.